I'm Zach with Chubby's Cruisers and today we are going to install the Nerve rear rack. Uh, depending on what kind of bike you have, you may need to purchase this monostay adapter. And you'll need this if your bicycle doesn't have mounts on the side like this for the stays on the rack to tie into. So this is the beach cruiser that we're gonna install it on and this does not have the pitons to install the rear rack. So this is the contents of our monostay adapter package. So we're gonna put this on first so that we can mount the rear rack to the bike frame. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is spread these apart a little bit so that we can wrap it around the seat tube. So we're gonna put this bracket right on there. And then we're gonna take the longer of the three Allen screws and one of the eight millimeter nuts and put that through the hole there. So in order to uh, make closing this up a little bit easier so that we can get the eight millimeter nut on, I'm gonna use these channel locks or pliers to compress the bracket. And then put the nut on. Holding it while it's compressed. Just kind of put a couple spins on there. And then it's ready to tighten. Now if your tubes are larger than a conventional steel beach cruiser, like if you have a, an aluminum beach cruiser or an aluminum bike, you may find that one, this monostay adapter is too small or two, that you need to get a longer screw so that you can tie all that together. So for this particular installation, we're gonna use these two screws to fasten the back rack to the brazons and the rear dropout. So a variety of different size screws and threads could be used for this. So make sure you get the right ones in order not to damage the threads in your bicycle frame or the threads of the hardware you're using for the installation. So not super tight because we still have to fasten the front supports for this. Then we're going to fasten the other side. Not quite all the way again. So we just wanna make sure that the orientation of these rear adjustable brackets are the same. So in order to do that, we're just gonna spin this around. This way the arc doesn't interfere with the tire there. And then we're gonna snug everything up using a four millimeter wrench, Allen wrench. Using a four millimeter Allen wrench, we're gonna snug everything up. So there's a little bit of adjustment available on these top screws and you just want to make sure they're all the way to the left hand side or all the way to the right hand side on both sides to ensure that the arcs don't end up interfering with the rotation of the tire. So then we're going to tighten up the 10 millimeter nut that's on the inside of this. Then you're ready to ride. And don't forget to check out our website at chubbyscruisers.com.